just ain't settled in yet. I don't know how I really feel right now. It's just the fact of just having to keep going through this and having to see them and trying to prove that he the best kid in the whole wide world. Now he, now he took my baby. Yeah. And I can't get my baby back. Yeah. So whether they would have gave him 50 years, that wouldn't have been yeah. enough. Yeah. It wouldn't have been enough. God, God. No, 18 years is not enough. It's yeah, not enough, enough time yeah. period in the world yeah. to replace what we have lost yeah. due to this <coughs> man's choices. It was all his choice yeah. as to why we are no longer with our babies. His choices. And 18 years, no, it's not enough, but it definitely will sit him down and this is not over. We have to live day for day yeah. with memories only. Because over of his over actions, over. he don't deserve anything but to go to hell. Hello and welcome to Reckless Crime. Before we get started, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more content. The tragic story of Chauvin Randall. In 2017, the kidnapping and murder of 13-year-old Chauvin Randall shocked the nation. This is the story of what happened and the suspects involved in the case. Chavon Randall was a young girl living in Lancaster, Texas. In June of that year, she was taken from her aunt's home where she was staying at the time. The events leading up to her kidnapping began with the theft of $250,000 worth of marijuana from a group led by Darius Fields. The original target of the kidnapping was Chavon's cousin Lotteris Randall, who was Kendall Perkins' girlfriend at the time. After Chavon's disappearance, an investigation was launched to find her. Days later, her body was found in an abandoned house in Oak Cliff, along with the body of 19-year-old Michael Titus, one of the suspects in her disappearance. These are the documents from multiple agencies here, Irving, Dallas County, the FBI. They explain this string of drug crimes and how a 13-year-old girl got caught in the middle of it all. The fate of 13-year-old Siobhan Randall may have been set at this Motel 6 in Lancaster. Nearly a week before they found her body in an abandoned Oak Cliff home. Last Monday, Kendall Perkins told police he and three other guys robbed La Portia Polly in room 116 and stole at least 22 pounds of marijuana. The pot allegedly belonged to Polly, Darius Fields, his cousin Devontae Owens, and Laquan Wilkerson, known in that circle as Owens' bodyguard. An arrest warrant for Owens says he went looking for the drugs and, with Wilkerson's help, kidnapped Siobhan, then called the girl's cousin using her phone and said, give us the drugs back or we're going to kill her. That cousin is Perkins' girlfriend and the young girl's only connection to any of this. The documents show police used FBI informants and cell phone records to connect the dots, arresting Owens and Wilkerson for kidnapping on the 28th and Polly and Fields on drug and firearm charges at an Irving motel the next day. But none of them led police here. It was a sixth person of interest, Desmond Jones, unknown to the media until today. The warrant says he told police, let's take a drive. Then Jones began to shake when they drove toward the house, saying, R.I.P. to her and Mike T. Inside, detectives found Siobhan's body and Michael Titus, another suspect in the case. Several suspects were arrested in connection to Siobhan's kidnapping and death. Darius Fields was found guilty of organized criminal activity and sentenced to 55 Fields years in prison. was immediately in tears when asked about his upbringing and father. He spent most of my life in prison. He got... He got out right after I got out of prison in 2015. Desmond Jones was also found guilty of organized criminal activity and sentenced to 99 years in prison. Laquan Wilkerson pleaded guilty to engaging in organized criminal activity and was sentenced to 40 years in prison. Devontae Owens was indicted on an aggravated kidnapping charge, but his case has not gone to trial yet. Darius Fields was the leader of a drug crew that planned and executed the kidnapping and murder of Chavon Randall. However, none of them have been charged with murder. Lapar Shiapali was also connected to the disappearance and death of Shalvan Randall. 
She was sentenced to four years in prison and two years of supervised release on account of federal firearms charges. Officials said she bought a gun for Darius Fields, a convicted felon who is not legally permitted to buy firearms. During his trial, Fields denied any involvement in the kidnapping and took the stand in his own defense. He admitted to dealing marijuana and committing other crimes but denied any involvement in Randall's kidnapping and murder. He told the jury that they got it wrong. Desmond Jones had two outbursts during his trial and had to be restrained and forcibly removed from the courtroom. The first outburst happened when someone was leaving the courtroom and yelled something at him. The second outburst happened while Jones' sister took the stand in his defense. What you're hearing and what you're seeing here was in fact the second outburst and it would be the last while Jones's sister was on the stand in his defense. The first one happened when someone was leaving the courtroom earlier and then yelled, uh, he ended up yelling something at him. Less than a half hour ago, the jury did sentence Jones to 99 years in prison. Dallas County prosecutors told the jury that Jones was connected to a violent South Dallas drug gang. In the summer of 2017, two armed men stole thousands of dollars worth of marijuana from Jones Drug Gang Associates. That heist set in motion a violent response from Jones and Darius Fields. Investigators said Fields targeted lotterist Randall as payback for the marijuana heist. Uh, but authorities said they instead kidnapped Shavon Randall, a young cousin of Lotteris Randall. Kendall Perkins was the boyfriend of Shavon Randall's cousin, La Doris Randall. He was involved in the theft of 22 pounds of marijuana from a motel room where Darius Fields and his girlfriend, La Portia Polly, were staying. Prosecutors said that Shavon's kidnapping was retaliation for the stolen drugs. Perkins was later indicted on a charge of aggravated robbery in connection with the case, but the case has not gone to trial yet. After Chavon's disappearance, La Doris received threatening phone calls demanding the return of the drugs. At one point, the kidnappers called La Doris from Chavon's phone and threatened to kill her if the drugs were not returned. La Doris admitted that she didn't immediately call the police after receiving the threats because she feared that Chavon would be killed. She also didn't tell authorities the full story because she was scared. The tragic story of Chavon Randall's kidnapping and murder has touched the hearts of many. A young girl with her whole life ahead of her was taken from her family and friends in a senseless act of violence. The case continues to develop as more information is uncovered about those involved in this heinous crime. Our thoughts and prayers go out to Chavon's family and loved ones as they continue to seek justice for her. Chavon's death is a reminder of the devastating impact that drugs and violence can have on innocent Let me be the one to tell y'all the truth. My baby was tortured. My baby got his tongue cut out. My baby got his head bashed in. And my baby got shot. So any other thing that anybody else has to say, know that his mama let y'all know what happened with my baby. And I'm upset about that. I am. Oh, my son. Thank you, my God for touching the hearts that's out here to let me know and let my family know that he is loved, he is loved, he is loved. Touch everybody out here as well as this family that's also mourning and grieving just like me. I need you to go off in their family and let them know that this is the time to come together. We're talking about babies here. Lord, thank you for giving us that sense of mind to where we won't be ignorant going over here. We won't be the ones to cause no kind of problems. We going as one and that's what's gonna happen. Lord, I thank you because I know that's what's gonna happen. Amen and amen. 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 Woo, release the balloon. Please. Yeah.